Hey everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you this grocery haul. If you guys didn't know, I was staying with my parents back in Maryland, but I just came back to Miami and moved into my apartment. So I basically had no non no perishable food items in my fridge. I only had non-perishable items like in my pantry. So I got a pretty large amount of things and I thought it would be interesting to show you guys my pantry staples. If you're looking for my non-perishable pantry staples, I already have a pantry tour that I recently filmed so I can link that in the description of this video. So for this grocery haul, I went to BJ's, which is a wholesale club, and then I also went to Aldi. I definitely got more than I'm going to eat in one week, but like I said, I didn't have anything in my pantry, so I had to stock up on some staple items that I usually only buy like once a month or once every other month. So this haul was a little bit more pricey for me. In total, I think everything was around $75, but typically I spend between $30 and $50 every week on my groceries. So I'm just going to get started. I'll start with the items that I got from BJ's. First, so I can put this back in my freezer, I got a giant bag of frozen wild blueberries. I like adding these to oatmeal smoothies. It's just easier to buy them in a giant bag because I eat them almost every day. Then I also got this giant bag of broccoli florets and I got this box of green mix. Um, I go through one of these in myself a week, sometimes two. I eat a lot of raw greens, but I really feel amazing when I eat more raw greens in my diet. So yeah, and then these other two bags are from BJ's as well. One thing I will note is that I am aware that this haul does have a decent amount of plastic in it. Unfortunately, BJ's and Aldi just packages everything in plastic and I am trying to reduce my waste, so I am aware of this, but I just wanted to acknowledge it that yes, there could be less plastic. Um, but anyways, I got a giant thing of celery sticks and I also got a big bag of organic whole carrots. And I don't buy these every week at all. I probably buy these like once a month, but I didn't have any in my freezer. Then, as you guys know, I'm obsessed with potatoes, so I got two bags of organic russet potatoes. And I found that these are cheapest at BJ's, so I just stock up there because I don't go to that store every week. So I'm gonna move these off to the side. And that is it for this bag, which is super cute, by the way. It says vegan vibes. But then next in this bag, I got a bunch of bananas, a bag of organic sweet potatoes, I got a tin of cherry tomatoes, I eat these almost every day, I love them as snacks, I put them in my salads, and then I also got two butternut squash, I don't even know when I'm going to eat these, but like I said, I don't go to BJ's that often, I like to roast these, put them in soups, stuff like that. So that is everything that I got at BJ's, and then the rest of the stuff I got at Aldi, which is all in this bag right here. I love Aldi for cheap and affordable groceries. So to start out, I got a bag of frozen peas. Now I'm gonna put these back in my freezer so they don't melt and fall. Um, and then I got a bag of lemons and I also got a bag of limes. I guess I'll show you it's somewhere in there, but I use these when I make recipes because I feel like lemon juice and lime juice adds a lot. But like I said, I don't buy these every single week. I just think lemon water is too expensive to drink every day. I also got a bag of mini cucumbers, a bunch of cilantro. Cilantro is super cheap, at least where I live, and I love adding it to my salads. And one of my favorite meals are like bean bowls with black beans and rice and tomatoes and salsa and just throw some cilantro on there. Oh, speaking of salsa, I almost forgot. I did get salsa from BJ's. Unfortunately, because everything in BJ's comes in large things, it comes in these giant jars, and there were two of them. The other one is in my fridge, but yeah, good thing I remembered that. So then back to Aldi. I also got two cans of pumpkin puree because tis the season and I want to start working on like pumpkin recipes. I also got a bag of these sweet mini peppers. Oh, these are so good. I like chopping them up, putting them in salads, even eating them plain. They're basically like regular peppers, but at least for me, they're cheaper than buying the full size peppers. And it's nice because I don't have to cut them up. I can just eat them and then throw away the stems. Or actually, sometimes I save the stems and use them for homemade vegetable broth because they add a lot of flavor. Um, let's see. In terms of stocking my pantry, I also got a bag of red onions and a bag of yellow onions just because onion is a base that I use in a ton of my recipes and I didn't have any. And then I also got a thing of garlic along those lines as well. Here is my bag of limes to go with my bag of lemons. And then I also got some Honeycrisp apples. These are my absolute favorite apple and I'm so happy that it's fall. 
because it's apple season now. And then I got three more things. The first thing are two avocados. They were kind of pricey, but I mean avocados like kind of worth it. I don't know. I also got a bag of zucchini. I like putting this in my oatmeal and stir fries, things like that. And then finally, this bag ripped when I was checking out, but it's fine. I got a bag of Brussels sprouts because that's probably one of my favorite parts of fall, like Brussels sprouts and butternut squash and just putting them in a salad with some tempeh and cranberries. And yeah, this is everything that I got. Some of the stuff is over there, but you can't see it. But I will admit it is a lot of food, but I do eat a lot of fresh produce and none of this is going to go to waste. I hate throwing out bad food and I will eat all of this before it goes bad, whether you believe me or not. But that's true. Um, like I said, as you can see here, I don't really buy non-perishable foods from the grocery store. I buy most of my online things from the Thrive Market. Um, I do do work with them, but honestly guys, I buy my non-perishable products through them as well. So I'll put a link below if you guys want to check it out. It's basically like an online grocery store for non-perishable items, but because it's online, the products are a lot cheaper. And they have a lot of good deals on organic products, which is important to me. But yes, also check out my pantry tour if you want to see exactly what I have in my pantry. And I also have a spice cabinet tour if you're curious about that as well. If you want to see a grocery haul of what I eat more on a typical week or what I purchase for a typical week, I do have a playlist of grocery hauls, so I can link that as well. If you're curious, you can see all of the groceries. But I'd say most of these foods are pretty much staples in my diet. And although I don't buy them every week, like for example, Maybe I won't eat as much zucchini this week, so I'll have some that will last me into next week, and I won't have to buy it next week. And because I did buy so much food this week, next week I'm probably only gonna spend between like 20 and 30 bucks on groceries, just because I'm so well stocked right now. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions, definitely let me know in the comments below. And if you like this type of video and wanna see grocery hauls on a more regular basis, please let me know that as well. I'd be more than happy to fill them for you guys. But other than that, I think that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful and I will talk to you later. Bye.